Hey, I'm Jen, and today I'm gonna to talk about how to make your weekly Zoom meetings more inspiring and engaging for your team. I'm Jen, I'm a real estate coach. I've got a local and national team where I help real estate agents all over grow their business and sell more real estate. We've all been there. You've been in a meeting where it should have just been an email. Now, you do not want to be that team leader or broker owner that does that same thing. And trust me, I've been guilty of it. I've written a little bullet point list, thrown up some slides and just read off of them and everyone's bored, including myself. Here's a sign. If you're bored with the content that you're about to present at a team meeting, so is your team, probably even more so. If you're not operating out of a position of inspiration, there's no way you're going to inspire your team. You have to be at an elevated level of everything if you want people to follow you, if you want people to engage and come up to your level. You have to be maxed out with that. One of the first things that I do is that sometimes I get sick of my own voice and I know everybody else feels the same way. So do something fun like bring in a guest speaker, somebody that's an expert in something that's different than you or has a different angle or opinion or viewpoint and have them come in and share something with the team that's gonna help them see something in a different way than what you're normally presenting it as. Something fun or exciting. Maybe it's maybe it's something personal development, not just business all the time. As team leaders, we're growth mode, production, organization, sales, growth. And sometimes people just need to be cared about and people just need a, a break or a little like mix up with the whole content thing. So if you bring in somebody that's maybe a meditation expert that helps people guide them through taking a break, turning off their minds on this growth and productivity and sales and drive, drive, drive. And instead is like, no, actually let me teach you how to take a break because pretty sure the science says that if you take a break and you know how to rest, you're actually going to be more productive and happy in life. Doing things like that for your team is going to show that you care about them, which matters more than anything. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Be that person for them that is not just like every other team leader that's going to be training and, you know, up here on this pedestal and everyone's trying to just reach them and whatever. You've got the secrets that it's going to help them be successful. No, 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 no. Meet them where they're at. Actually listen to them understand, which is why I start my meetings off with two things. I want to hear from them. Number one, I want to hear about what good has happened to them in the past week or what wins that they've experienced. It gets them to, to open up and share. And then the second thing I do is I ask them, Hey, did you complete the things that you committed to last week? And what are you going to do this week that you commit to? Now, these things are small. We get through them pretty quickly, but the point is you're getting them to engage, them to open up, and it's it's covering a multitude of, of things and, and helping in multiple ways. Number one, it's getting them talking, and you get to listen to what where they're at, with the things that they're struggling with or what they want to accomplish. And then number two, it's light accountability. If you speak something and you tell somebody else that you're going to do something, the likelihood of you actually accomplishing that goes through the roof. Getting them in a habit of stating what it is that they're going to accomplish, it actually helps their brain focus on that thing. There's a purpose for all of these things. You as a team leader need to understand that those things that sometimes maybe you're like, oh, well, we need to you know talk about this bullet point list and the upcoming events and they need to be trained on this system and we've got this new thing happening and honestly it's the small weekly consistency of the accountability and the what's going on in your life what's good that's happening those things over the long term are going to make more of an impact than just training them on a new CRM system I guarantee you they're going to remember how you made them feel over all the the t tools and resources that you taught them about Another thing that I like to do to, to help keep people engaged, uh, other than me not being the only person that's talking, is give them a little sneak peek preview and theme the meetings that you have. If you tell people, hey, this next week we're talking about how to be better on video, it gives a little taste about what's gonna happen and builds some excitement around that. And different topics are gonna speak differently to other people, but it prepares them. It's a reminder for the meeting, right? So they can prepare for it, but also, hey, you're gonna, you're gonna either learn something new or hear from somebody that you, know, that you might really enjoy. So prepping them for that, having a schedule, set up maybe text reminders or have a calendar where it's the same time, same day, every single, you can remind them the day before, remind them 30 minutes before, remind them 10 minutes before that meeting starts. I find that that consistency and constantly reminding people is a way to help 
engage them and get them to be on that phone call because you want that regular interaction with your team. And so it's your job to make it not boring. It's your job to make sure you're providing value that you care about them. And I know this is big and I know it's hard to do that week in week out, but I guarantee if you're being fed and you do the things and you're inspired, make sure that you're getting all of that first. And then you can give that to them because all of us, all of us fall short. All of us get uninspired. We hit burnout, all of those things. But you need to storytell. You need to relate with them. That's the next thing that, that I try to do in my meetings is tell people the struggles that I have. Being vulnerable really engages people. That really helps them connect with you, trust you, and then listen to you. And then, and then emulate what you're doing. If you're successful in your business, you know how hard it was to get there. Don't candy coat it. Don't be the expert who, if you would just be like me kind of attitude. Instead, it's like, no, actually making phone calls every day is really hard. And I don't feel like it all the time. I'm a, There's things I do to hype myself up and get excited about it. But that doesn't mean I wake up in the morning just just in greatness all the time. I have to get myself there. Tell them what that is. Not only be vulnerable about you have those struggles and tell them that, but then tell them what you do to get out of that. Because sometimes people just don't know how to get out of the, the loop that they're in. It's that stuff that I know it's not directly like sales, make your phone calls, just do the things. It's, it's like, hey, no, here's how to actually get out of a struggle. Here's, here's some things that you can try. This is what's worked for me when I've hit this rut or this roadblock or obstacle. This is how I got over that. And I kept hitting it and I kept hitting it. So I tried something new. So it's those types of things and being relatable that's gonna make way more of an impact than you just having these perfect outlines for your team meetings and literally that you could have just sent as an email. This is how we build teams. This is how you create a company culture where people want to come and they're drawn to you and then they wanna stay because that's half the battle, right? It's, you might be a really dynamic person, you bring people in, but if you don't retain those agents, you're not building a good culture, you're not building a good team. What I'm telling you, a consistent, bringing that fire, bringing the energy, the value, the care for people is going to create something that you are gonna be proud of and that you wanna maintain.